verse of scripture that establishes by the grace of God that Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. Let's look at Hebrew. We're looking at the book of Hebrew, chapter 2, verse 15. Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 15, and I read. And release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Jesus Christ came to release from bondage all those who, just look at that verse again, for all their lifetime, every day of their life, they are subject to the bondage of the devil. They are subject to the bondage of darkness. The word of God says that Jesus Christ came to release such people from the bondage to which the devil has placed them. Are you there? Is there any particular area of your life where you are experiencing this form of bondage? I want you to know today that Jesus already came and he already released you through his death, through his blood. He already sets you free. You are to enjoy the benefit of his coming. This is the word of God, the unbroken word of God, the established word of God. And the word of God is true. All you need to do is to believe it. Jesus Christ came to release those who the devil has made fearful. Through the power of fear, he has held them down. He has uh, immobilized them. He has stagnated their lives. He has tied them down. But here we have this beautiful promise that Jesus has come to release such people. Part of the mission of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is our deliverance. He came to set the captives free. I want you to know that. And it's one thing to know. It's another thing to believe. It's another thing to apply God's word to your life. So what do we do now? I think we should be able to confess that I am released. Jesus Christ has released me from every hold of bondage. Jesus Christ has come to set me free. So I am free. And I declare it over your life too. You are free. Because Jesus has come to set you free. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10 says, Jesus Christ delivered us from so great a death and does deliver us, in whom we trust that he will still deliver us. This is one of the reasons Jesus Christ came, to deliver us from entanglements, to deliver us from the fear of death, to deliver us from satanic attack. I remember some years back, I was very, very ill. I was tormented by the spirit of death. I prayed and Christians prayed with me. Brethren prayed and fasted with me. And this particular verse of scripture kept on ringing in my ears that God has not given me the spirit of fear because the devil tormented me with the spirit of fear. But God gave me the victory. That's more than 30 years ago. I'm still alive. And God has helped me through that experience to help others who have gone through that experience too. The what really healed me was the word of God. God Almighty is able through the power of his word to deliver us from every attack of death, from every fear of death. Amen. Then look at Daniel. Daniel was thrown into the den of lions. But because it was not his time, the Lord God Almighty showed up and delivered him. So God who delivered Daniel is still the same God who goes about delivering us. That is why Jesus Christ came, that he may release us from every fear of death. He came. When you live your every day with the fear of death, then there will be no joy in that day. There will be no peace in your heart. There will be no peace at all. You will always be afraid that perhaps death is about to come. Even when you want to go to bed, you may not even want to sleep. 
forgetting that whether you are asleep or not, if death will come, it will come. But when we know that with long life, the Lord will satisfy me and show me salvation, this will bring peace to our heart. And we will know that Jesus Christ has come to release us from the fear of that one who keeps on tormenting us with the fear of death. You are released in the name of Jesus Christ. It is the reason Jesus Christ came. And he came that he may set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. So what do you do? I want you to write down these verses of scripture. If you are going to search an attack, that God is able to deliver you. So I want you to write down these verses of scripture, turn it into prayer. And I know you will have victory in the name of Jesus. Psalm 18 verse 17. Psalm 18 verse 17. 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 2. Psalm 18 verse 17. 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 2. Turn these verses into scripture, into prayer, and you will see how God will avail for you, how he will fight for you and deliver you in the name of Jesus. Have you been blessed by this video? Don't forget to strike the like button and don't forget to drop your comments. And I pray that the benefits of Christ's coming will be yours in the name of Jesus. Amen. See you again in the next video where we'll talk about another beautiful reason why Jesus Christ came to the earth. It's me, Dr. Yutunde Akuridi. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Amen.